Hi there, YouTube family. I could not be more excited to be bringing you this video of dupes, but it is with one of my favorite YouTubers, Everyday Heidi. If you guys don't know who Heidi is, I can't wait to introduce you to her. I love this girl. She is so much fun. She is a makeup lover like me. She does her makeup so flawlessly and she has the best videos. She doesn't go overboard on her videos. I mean, she doesn't make super long videos, which I love. The other thing that I love is that she always gives the best recommendations. She loves drugstore like I do. She loves to do dupes like I do. And she just down to earth, but she is gorgeous. You guys, her skin is absolutely beautiful. She has these big, beautiful brown eyes. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a look on her that didn't look really good. She works with color. She loves color like I do. We have a lot in common except for she's probably like 30 years younger than I am, but she is so fun. And I couldn't wait to do this video with her. She reached out to me actually because she's the one that originally thought up the cheaper and better videos. So I'm happy to be bringing you Cheaper and Better by Everyday Heidi and Mrs. Melissa M. We are doing this video together. So please go over, tell her that I sent you her link to her channel and her video will be right below. So please do that because this girl deserves so many more subscribers than she has. And I see big things in her future because she's just, She's all that. Cheaper and better is the thought process behind the dupe videos. So we're gonna get into these. Hopefully you will enjoy them. They are really, really close this time, you guys, and I got some really good ones. So we decided to do five. I'm gonna bring you five. Here we go. There are some times when you're just working with something and you're going, that is so much like the other thing that I have, and you get it out and you're like, oh, wow. And that was the case with the Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder and the Laura Mercier, this is just her translucent powder. You guys, the Maybelline Fit Me has a ton more in it. And yes, the Maybelline Fit Me does come in different colors. I have mine in light, but these two powders, this is the Fit Me First. These two powders are so luxurious. And if you've ever used the Laura Mercier, you know what I'm talking about. Finely milled, it feels so nice on the skin. It's just a beautiful powder, but that's exactly the way the Maybelline one feels too. So I can put these both on and I'm telling you, I can't tell the difference. Once you buff them into your skin, the Maybelline is every bit as good a powder as the Laura Mercier. And I am so glad that I found this because you know, this is a mini of the Laura Mercier. That's all I've ever had or been able to afford, da da da. But this is, I think, $23 and this one is eight. So get yourself some Fit Me Loose setting powder because, and it comes in different shades. So that's the cool thing about it. So you're gonna get just a teeny tiny bit more coverage from it and that blurring property and all the good stuff about setting your makeup. And you know, if you're mature and you're dry skin, it's a good powder for that anyway, for being mature and having skin that you go a little bit lighter on the powder for. But it's a great one for like in the summertime when you're sweating, you need to have that makeup to last all day so good you guys blurring effects so good and at, i have looked and looked and looked you guys forever for a dupe for the mark jacobs omega bronzer because this puppy is so dang expensive this bronzer is beautiful it's a beautiful bronzer it is not too warm it's not too cool it has the most perfect perfect balance between those two and it does have that coconut smell. It is infused with that coconut smell. And I'm gonna build this up so you can see it a little bit better. So that one right there is the Marc Jacobs one. Then all of a sudden here comes Milani with their silky matte powders, their, their bronzers. And you guys, this is a dead on dupe for it, I think. Number two is in Sun Kisses, or I'm sorry, Sun Kissed. And you guys, this is every bit as nice. It has that same smell that the Marc Jacobs one does. So they've done the coconut smell on there too. Now I will say that this one is a tiny bit more on the cool side, but you guys, you blend that into your skin and I'm telling you, you can barely tell the difference. I, I use one on one side, the other on the other side. It is so close. I know that this Marc Jacobs one would last me forever, but if you can't go out and spend, I think this is $54. If I'm wrong, you'll see it up here. But if you can't go out and spend that, try this from Milani. It is silky. It doesn't have any glow in it like the Marc Jacobs one doesn't, 
but it does have that silky feel to it. It is, you know, long wearing. It's gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. So wanted to bring that to you for sure this time. I also wanted to bring you a couple of lippies. I'm really excited about these because this time, again, this is one where I was just swatching lipsticks across my hand thinking, you know, do I want to keep these or not? And I came across these two, you guys, really happy about this. Okay, so the first one is Snob from MAC. I love Max lipsticks. This one I think is either a satin formula. Yes, it's a satin formula. I love Max lipsticks and Snob is just right up my alley. This is more on the blue side of a pink. And I just, I really love it you guys. But Blushing Pout number 682 from Maybelline. This one is a matte. So it's not the same finish. Although when I look at it on here and the lasting power and everything, it, it works the same exact. You guys, this is the Maybelline. This is the MAC. Unbelievable. I mean, we're talking, if there is any sort of a variance there, it is so minute. And I'm not kidding as far as their opacity. I actually think that the Maybelline, because it's um, matte, might be a little bit more vibrant than the MAC, which I really do like. But I love them both. They're so pretty, aren't they, you guys? And I'm, I'm not kidding. There might be a variance in the hue of just a minuscule amount, but wow, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I love that I found a dupe for it. I absolutely love that too. All right, you guys. Next, I have Anastasia Be Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. This is such a great formula, you guys. I love it because it's opaque. I have it on today. I love it because it's opaque. I love it because the color will pop on it. Now, not all of her lip glosses are like that, but this particular one is. And this one is in Dusty Lilac. I just think it is so gorgeous. Saturated, beautiful. Yes, it probably looks like the uh, lip gloss form of these over here, but I love it. And I love the formula on it. I love that it has a little bit more lasting power than other lip glosses do. It's not a super thin formula, but it's not a sticky formula either. And I absolutely love that. So guess who came out with the dupe? It is wet and wild. This was last year they released their, I think it's last year, they released their Rebel Rose collection. And this is called Pretty Poison. And you guys, we're talking pretty darn close. Now I will tell you that this had quickly become one of my very, very favorite formulas. Now you can tell that right here, it looks just a little bit darker, but get that on your lips and you can't tell a difference. I'm not kidding. I put this, one of them on my bottom lip this morning and one of them on my top and I couldn't even tell the difference. And it is such a good dupe as far as the formula goes. It's lasting power, how it's not sticky, but it's not too thin that it's gonna come off, you know, as you're talking, it's gonna come off in a half an hour. I love these, you guys. They're really, really good. And finding this color that is this soft pinky purple, I absolutely love that too. Okay, the last one came about because when I was doing a video for you guys, I was comparing all of the powders that are on the market right now that claim to be radiant or glowing. And I didn't put the Hourglass Ambient Light Powders in there. This one is called um, Luminous Light. I didn't put them in there because they're more expensive. It was more of a drugstore overview. I'll make sure I link that one below for you too. But these powders really are very good quality. Lots of people love setting their under eyes for them because they give just a little bit of a light without being sparkly, without having shimmer, anything like that. They just seem to illuminate and you get the right color for you, whether you're dark or lighter. And it just seems to be like glowing magic on your skin without having shine or anything like that. They really are beautiful powders. And I, um, I have this small one and I also have the palette that I bought last year and I like all the colors. But in that video, because they were out of stock at that moment, I hadn't even talked about the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. But this one, I'm about to hit pan on this one, you guys. This is such a great dupe for the Hourglass Powders because it has that same little tiny bit of luminosity. It's not a glow. You can't really say that it's a glow and yet it's not just a flat matte powder either. It's somewhere in the beauty of the middle of those two and it is just fantastic. The creaminess, that feel of it, it's just so, so good. So that is my last recommendation to you guys. If you can't afford this, these are so expensive. 
these powders are very, very expensive. But if you can't afford it, you're going to find a really good dupe in the Milani Prep Set and Glow. And yes, Milani still is making this. I was glad that they are. I just, they were out at the time and I thought, why do they always discontinue the things that I love the, the best? And many of you said that you already love this for a glowing powder in that video. So I was glad that I tried the two out up against each other and found out that Honestly, you guys, there really is not a lot of difference. But these have colors, you know, different colors, and this one has only one color. But I actually love this one a little bit more because of the price point, obviously, and I don't feel guilty about reordering one that costs like $10 as compared to one that costs like 30 some dollars to get one. So that is everything for today's dupes, you guys. Cheaper and better at the drugstore. Things that I find at the drugstore that I go ahead and I buy over high end because I don't feel a bit, a bit bad about buying it because the price point is great and the quality is every bit as good. I love bringing you these videos. I love the concept that Heidi came up with. Please go over and show her some love. Tell her where you came from. Tell her that you came from our family and that you are over to visit her and don't forget to subscribe and just show her some love. She's a great gal, you guys. I mean it. You'll really fall in love with her. She, she really is a fun YouTuber. Thanks guys so much for watching today. Hope you're all in good health. I will see you all in my next video. Much love from me to you. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.